The Okanagan River and Lake Osuyas are the primary water source for Orville Tenasket Irrigation District that serves a little over 10,000 acres of family farms and residential areas. The Okanagan Lake is the reservoir for the water we consume to uh, water our trees. Without that water, we would not have any fruit trees in this valley or any grapevines in this valley. Water for me, in, in, in my type of business, and for humanity, it's without water we have absolutely nothing. That's what water means for me. There's two times, the spring and the fall, that are very challenging for the agricultural community. In the spring, the tree fruits, they primarily want the early water so that they can deal with the possibility of frost. They don't want frost during blossom time. And in the fall, the vineyards want to get that last irrigation in to create an impervious layer between the frost and the roots of the grape plants. The biggest demands happen in the summer when people are irrigating. There's a tremendous amount of irrigation that happens in the Okanagan system, whether you're talking about the Canadian Okanagan Valley that we have here or farther south going down to Wenatchee. Tremendous amount of fruit growing, grape growing, all very productive area if you irrigate it. There has been change over time in terms of the uh, regulations for farmers uh, in that the volumes of water that are allocated have been reduced because there's been a recognition that irrigation practices have changed. Now of course over the past hundred years we've seen the development of sprinkler irrigation and more recently particularly for horticultural crops we've seen micro irrigation such as drip irrigation, uh, micro sprinkler irrigation which allows people to produce the same amount of a crop with a much a smaller water supply. We may have drought years and we will not have enough water in the hills uh, or in the mountains uh, snowpack that uh, sustains our lakes because basically that's what Okanagan Lake is, it's just a big bathtub and uh, that's where we save all the water for consumption in the summertime and if we get a number of years without sufficient rains and snow in the uh, snowpack in the mountains we could end up with uh, a shortage of water. It says, after all, this is a desert. There's two things that need to be done to make sure that the lakes and rivers stay healthy for future generations. One is to just keep them clean, don't pollute them. The second thing that we need to do is make sure that we don't waste it. You can build reservoirs, you can suck out the aquifers, but the number one best source of water is the water that we have and the water that we can serve. And we can do a lot better preserving water by not wasting it. And those two things are going to be essential for protecting the water supply for the future generations.